points in the ball game. Five twenty-eight uh, here in quarter number one. Mark Pingris also in the game for the Beermen. Physical play down low and Pena will draw the offensive foul. So far, San Miguel trying to be aggressive, but Barangay Hineva doing a good job of using the physicality that's being thrown around by San Miguel in picking up two offensive fouls in this first quarter. Pacanya quickly brought back in. Sunday Salvation. It's short. Good lead pass as Pingris is bottled up. San Miguel will keep possession here. Pingris posting up Valenzuela. Valenzuela picks his pocket. Here comes Junti crossing the middle. Inside, Salvation with the finish. Now that's exactly what Coach John Chico wants to see. His undersized guards being able to handle the bigger San Miguel guys and eventually causing turnovers and getting opportunities to run. But it's interesting to see how the matchups will play out here. And this time, Billy Mamarel is caught uh, with the foul. Three to the point, Paolo. When you look at San Miguel right now, they've got two small, two power forwards on the court in the, per in the person of now Danny Siga, who's moved in for Jay Washington and Mark Pingris. When you look at the flip side, when you look at Barangay Hinebra, it's a ton of guards, four guards, and one center. So, the Barangay Hinebra Kings playing small ball, and uh, San Miguel Beer will look to take advantage of their height. Now it's Danny Siegel posting up Wilson. Wilson giving up maybe four, four or five inches. He'll be called with a personal foul. Now Alex Cresano, it's his turn to man the center position. Shot on 14 seconds. Shot clock reads nine seconds. Pena. Now, Rosella looking to launch. Here's Mara Rosella, and he gets it. That's just veteran smarts right there. Olsen Rosella knew that the shot clock was winding down. It seemed all veterans to have that little shot clock in their brain, and Olsen knew all about it. German on top by two, 16 to 14, and it's been close here. Quarter number one. Nick Benisi will uh, replace Dorian Pena. Benisi playing a lot of minutes in his first game and uh, short sit for Alex Cusano. But it seems that Alex Cusano is uh, going to play defense on Dorian Pena. They don't want Alex Cusano on uh, Mick Benisi because that would mean that he's going to have to step out in the three-point area. Fast break play underway. Pingris get the bucket. Team San Miguel, if they can, they're trying to really set up their offense as early as possible. They're trying to look for that first good shot available. Well, so far, they've taken advantage and got some points off the break here. Eric Mick, foiled by Mick Penisi. Aracela looking for an opening. Set this one up. They go to Tugade from downtown. Valenzuela. Picked up by Pingris. You mentioned uh, how the guards will be guarding taller players from San Miguel. On the other side, it's the smaller, how the big men of San Miguel will be guarding the smaller men of uh, Barangay Hinebra. But of course, San Miguel has that luxury that their big man also has inert quickness. Guys like Mark Pingris can guard all the way uh, a point guard if he wants to. Big Penisi. Macanya will be called for the loose ball foul. 
Give credit to Lord Itugadi for getting in there. Over 2.21 uh, to play, Barangay Inebra is in the penalty. We have a timeout. We'll be back. Uh, you're watching eBay Philippine Cup. We're back with us inside the Cuneta Astrodome in Pasay City. Time now for our KFC assist delivery of the quarter. Earlier on, good look from Dorian Peña inside to Dondon Ontiveros. Magpadilverera sa KFC, just dial 887-8888. KFC, it's finger looking good. Two fifteen to play here in the opening period. Valenzuela hits one from 17 feet just inside the three-point line. Other new faces on the floor. Bonbon Custodio is also on the hard court, watched by Paul Artadi. <laughs> This Bacana already picking up foul number three. Here's the first. Yeah, he's really had trouble with the, with the players that he's been guarding. He tried to guard Don Don Antiveros. Don Don Antiveros is able to score against him. And now against Lordi Tugate, having the same difficulty once more. So Ronald Tubid will check in. And that just goes to show you the depth of uh, San Miguel Beer. You have to guard guys like uh, Antiveros, Tugade, Danny Siegel coming in for Jay Washington. So they're, they're so deep when it comes to every position. And look at the five on the floor for uh, San Miguel. Looks like a first unit. The only guy that started out there is uh, Lordi Tugade. Mick Benisi coming out to double team. Now it's with Tubid. Six seconds on the shot clock. Ball rotation for the Kings and Valenzuela connects. <laughs> Good sign for the Kings as uh, they're finally able to hit the outside shot. A very good sign for Junti Valenzuela because he struggled in the first game. Only two out of ten having back-to-back -back hits here in the first quarter. Danny Siegel! And then Danny Siegel just too tall for Wilson on the baseline. Well, they're trying to send him baseline to his left hand but the problem is if Danny Siegel is able to get that drop step, like you mentioned, too tall for uh, Willie Wilson without the help. Fingers will secure the leather. Here come the Beermen. Tugade. Quick shot from on top. Tugade. Tugade now with eight markers in the first. Inside pass to Mick. Loose ball picked out. Tugade looking at the clock and then just firing away. Well, he did take that look. Maybe he was looking for a two-for-one situation. They were able to do that because they're still going to have about seven seconds difference right now with, between the shot clock and the game clock. Well picked up by Danny Siegel. And this is the possession he talked about. Custodio now with the ball. And ball by Custodio. Really given a place in situations like this when he's called for the double dribble well, they're going to call him for uh, bombing the basketball the entire Barangay Hinebra coaching staff was already mentioning or telling the referee that he was massaging the ball trying to get under the basketball and uh, finally they get that call and a call that really you know, not, not often do you get that call the coach uh, shot Duncan Sen will get a warning here with 5.7 seconds in the first. Tubit. Season opening. Still 2.3 on the clock. And let's see what uh, Barangay Hineba can come up with here. Helterbrand on rhythm. And he gets it. Three-pointer for J.J. Helterbrand. Or they just... We'll have to wait and see what the referees decide on here. 
Well, review uh, that tape, but it looked good. A yeah, good play coming off that uh, inbound play from the bottom of the screen. Bonbon Custodio loses the track of JJ, and JJ, that's all he needs. So JJ Helderbrand hitting a three-pointer to beat the clock. And it has been uh, a seesaw battle here in quarter number one. Hang on to your seats. We'll be back for quarter number two.